Hey guys, welcome to another episode to you, brought to you by CakeCrusadersBlog.com. Today's video is a Paw Patrol theme and it is a digital invitation. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this very cute little Paw Patrol digital invitation that I did for my daughter's birthday just, um, just last month actually. Um, yeah, so we'll just get straight into it. The theme, sorry, the software I use is called PicMonkey which you can subscribe to. It's a free online software. Go to www.pickmonkey.com. You can click in the link in the description box below and that'll take you straight there. And all you need to do is just sign up. It is free. There are a few items on here that you have to pay for, um, but I'll show you that in a few minutes, what I use and how you can change it, etc. So before you actually get into doing the invitation, you need to go to my blog, which is also in the link in the description box below, and you just download your clip art. You're going to get a chalkboard background that you'll find, and your actual your actual little um, Paw Patrol image that you need to download. Okay, so once you're in there, you're going to click on to design, and we're going to do a 5 by 7 So you click on your 5 by 7 and there it is. This is your main area. So all we're going to do is go straight into it. I go into overlays, which is the little butterfly, and we're actually going to upload a um, little... Okay, so once you've brought out your images, so wherever you've saved your images, that's where you're going to go to to get your... your your clip art. So we're going to do the backdrop first. Double click onto it and it should bring it up. And we're going to resize it to the size of our invitation. And there we go. And click off it. We're then going to go back into overlays and we're going to go and download our picture. And there it is. We actually want to make the picture a lot more smaller. Now this is obviously just what I've done. You by all means can change it to whatever you want. Of course you're going to change the name of the child to your child's name and the dates and the time etc. So this is just something that I came up with and of course you're more than welcome to change it if you want to. Okay so there is your image. We're now going to do the heading on top. So we click on to the font, which is the all the text button. Click onto that, and the first part we're going to do is the name on top, and we use what's called sketch block. If you see on the right hand side of the font, there is a little crown. That crown means that I am a royal member, which means I pay a monthly fee of I think it's six dollars a month, which is nothing for what you actually, you know, what you get from it. So it's definitely worth it. And but by all means, there's so many other fonts here that you can use. This one here is really, um, really popular. Um, so anyone that does have a crown, you unfortunately have to have a membership for it. So I'm going to click onto that, but you can click onto whatever one you want. And we're going to add our text. And here is the text box. So we click onto it, so it highlights it, and uppercase. I'm going to type in my daughter's name, which is Ellie. All right, and then going to drag it in so that the box is actually smaller, but the font is the same size, and then I'm going to drag it out to make it a lot bigger. And there we go. Now, of course, we don't want this color. We want a pretty color. So we're gonna, every time you do a text or anything, this little box here is gonna come up, okay? And we want to change the color. And I wanna change the color so it matches all the different colors that are on this little clip art here. So you just click on here and you'll have a little drop and then you can actually pick which color you want which I think is pretty cool and I want the yellow and then you click off it and there we go. So that's that. Then we need to do, I'm going to use the same font and we're going to put in is, oopsie, is turning. And once again, I want to drag it in and drag it further out. So there we go. And now I want to change that color to a white. Let's see, let's change that one. Okay. okay, so now you're going to put in the 
age that your child um, will be turning and once again I'm going to be using Sketchblock this is probably one of my most favorite font that I like to use but of course you can use whichever font you want so my little girl was turning three it's just easier when you have the the box a lot more smaller to handle and I'm going to drag it out to a number three and I like to make it slightly bigger and this color is going to be a red yep that's pretty good I think okay and now I can actually make this one a little bit bigger too can go back and have a look and make sure you're happy with it all right so actually he needs to be a lot more smaller okay now we're going to put in the green banner so moving on we click on to overlays and you bring up your little drop boxes over here and we're going to go to geometric geometric sorry and we're going to click on to this little rectangle box and we are going to move you and we're going to make it long there we go and I'm going to bring it further down to about there and him we're going to move him slightly up but we're going to right click on that image and we're actually going to bring that to the front so it actually looks a little bit more alive I suppose and we're going to change that black into green and that's the green that I like to use okay we now click on to fonts and I use Kamuka text and then we click add and we're going to say click on to text and case and it's time to pour tea like so and we're going to make it longer like that and drag it down and we want to make it a lot more bigger there we go and it was white okay so click onto it again and we're going to make it white okay now we're going to do the image uh, the font at the bottom so we're going to start off with what day it's going to be so I'm going to use the Kamuka text again and click add and this was on a Saturday I need to make it a little bit smaller like so this is all trial and error too so you kind of just got to play around with it yeah, and the color that I used was a ready color okay so oops right now we're going to do the date which I used sketch for that one and I did that as oops, May and make this a lot bigger And that color was white. And then I use chunk five, for the actual day, which was the fourteenth. Okay, now I'm going to do the little dots. They're going to go across to border it, and that is under overlays. And you can scroll all the way down to dashed and lines, and it's this first one here. And there it is there. So we're going to turn it around 
just to make sure that it's straight. Like so. And bring that right down like so. And Okay, and we're going to make that white. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. You're going to click back onto your text box and we're going to use chunk and text. And now I'm popping in exactly where we had it. Oh. And I believe it was about a size. 85 that I have it. Okay, drag it to here, and in matter of fact, we need to go enter, and it was we need to make it a lot more smaller. So let's make it 80. And uh, no, let's try 76. And there we go. Okay, let's make the colors. I am wanting like a nice blue. Oh, that'll do. And I'll come back to the actual little dotted lines. We're just going to keep going with the text for now. Then going to use chunk again. And we're going to put the time. So the time is from 11. Actually, no space. To 2. And that I'm wanting maybe 114 should work. Yeah. And drag. I think the reason why it's not working is because if you're finding you can't click onto something, just drag your overlay, the one that's at the very back to the side. And then you should be able to click onto it. Like so. I'm trying that further. I need to make this a little bit smaller. And then you should be able to make the rest of the stuff a lot more bigger like that. And then you can take your image and bring it back. Like there. That makes it a lot more easier. Okay, and then we need the RSVP, which I used Kamuka for that one. And RSVP Sam on Facebook. I just created a, a private event, and that's where I posted my invitation and emailed it to a few family friends and that so most of my contacts were through facebook all right and then this i popped at the bottom here like so and that was a orangey color so I click onto that and let's find a nice orange like that there okay drag you further down so now we can probably have a little space, we can probably do that. This makes it stand out a lot more. And the color needs to change to a different color. Let's make it yellow. Okay, so we will tidy up a lot of the stuff at the end. Um, so I'll just add the dotted lines to finish it all first so we click once again onto the 
butterfly which is your overlays and onto dashes and lines and there is is the lines and let's just make this a lot more smaller whoopsie okay and I want it in white and let's bring it down here okay I'm going to right click onto it and I am going to duplicate the overlay and there is the second one voila now this here needs to be a little bit more smaller because the K is not on it and there we go alright and there we go that is pretty much it it's just pretty much trial and error and playing around and changing colors and yeah just have fun with it um, I think I might actually change that to like a pinky color there we go just make it a little bit girly and there we go I can even change that to pinky color to make it um, there we go that is it quick and easy and free too if you if you use your own um, the font that are free and that is pretty much all you need to do I tend to just play around quite a bit so there we go I can make that a lot more bigger if you wanted to she doesn't look that great see once you get started you don't want to stop <laughs> okay and then so what you can do because it's a digital invitation you can then email it to your friends and family or create a facebook event or you could even get it printed out and hand deliver it to all your guests all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this video please stay tuned for more pop patrol videos that i'll have coming up soon and i look forward to hearing your comments please subscribe and like and share take care guys thank you